Simple Church, The Three Essentials to Health and Impact. This is based from Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. Before the Christian faith became accepted in the Roman culture in the first century and before there were designated buildings in which believers could worship, these early Christians lived on the margins of society, striving to live out their faith the best they could. Acts chapter 2 verses 42 through 47 provide a framework for essential aspects for a thriving Christian community. At its core, Christian community is about nurturing and fostering relationship with Christ, one another, and the world. The triangle that you see comes from chapter 5 in the book, The Shaping of Things to Come, written by Michael Frost and Alan Hirsch. As you notice, the inner triangle shows all three essential relationships in, in the circle with Christ, one another, and the world. And they are, these relationships are continuously fostered and all three sides of the triangle are the same length, meaning they all should have equal importance to be a balanced and healthy faith community. The church shows their love for God in the way they love each other and the way in which they love the world. Regardless whether a body of believers meet in a traditional worship site or the break room at work, somebody's basement, a restaurant's back room, or online through video, these are the three essentials for any faith community to be healthy and to thrive. Number one, communion with Christ. We grow in closeness with Christ through God's Word. Together as a community, they continued steadfastly in the sound teaching of the apostles who were eyewitnesses of Christ. We read that in verse 42. Hearing God speak through the apostles' teachings, they would grow in their relationship with Christ. Those teachings have been passed down to us in the Bible. We also grow in closeness with Christ through worship. These are practices to honor and revere God through shared meals. Or the Lord's Supper can also be incorporated in a meal. Songs, baptisms, prayer, and more generally, just acts of love in our daily life. Whether it was in homes or temple courts, they took opportunities to praise God with specific practices or more generally in their lifestyle by giving glory and honor to the Lord through their daily example. Number two, community with others. We grow in fellowship with one another through fellowship and friendship. Friendship develop organically by socializing, sharing, and hospitality together with prayer. We read that in verse 42. It was a genuine community of friends in united devotion to Christ. These friendships grew as a shared life together where they spent the majority of life at home and the marketplace. They also served and gave generously. Generosity and hospitality were hallmarks of the Christian movement from the start. This took the form of costly and radical sharing, which was an expression of Christ-likeness. Verse 45, through these generous acts, they cared for each other and made sure everyone had enough, which won the favor of the broader community. Number three, commission to the world. We grow the body by reaching the world through gospel telling and sharing, through their devotion to the previous two commitments of communion with Christ and community, opportunities will arise to share the good news and word and deed with others in day-to-day -day life. It says in verse 47, And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Apparently, their life as a faith community as a faith community dedicated to the Lord, found favor from the watching world because of their unity, generosity, and service to one another. They were known for the manner in which they loved each other. In conclusion, to be a healthy and dynamic church, you need all three essentials practiced regularly by a body of believers, regardless of where they decide to gather. 
You can be having communion with God by studying His Word and worshiping, in addition to having community with fellow believers. But if you are not fulfilling the commission to the world, you are missing a huge part of being church and not living up to your full potential as God's people. That's why it's important to have all three sides of the triangle. They're equally important. If you are interested in joining our missional conversation and being part of a community with a heart toward living the mission of God in our lives, visit our website at senttotheworld.org and and visit our social media outlets. You can reach me personally by sending me a message at jorge at senttotheworld.org. God bless.